Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've had delivery of my second most anticipated release of the year, and this is the 4K Ultra Steelbook Edition of Back to the Future 35th Anniversary Edition. And I got this one from Amazon. So let's take a little look at what you get with this. So what I'm gonna do first of all, because it's a paper J card, is take off the paper J card first of all. There you go. So yeah, it's not a cardboard J card, it's a paper one, and that tells you what's inside it. But let's get down to this, because look at the dashboard. Destination time, present time, and last time departed. So the detail on here is really nice, and it's a nice cardboard box, so that will last a bit of time. Well, it'll last longer than the J card anyway. And there's your emergency on off button. And on the back is the flux capacitor with the magic 88 miles per hour. There you go. So I must say the detail on the box is really nice. So I was very impressed with that. And then let's open it up because there was just so much inside here. So straight away, you get a VHS box, which has a lot of extras in. But I'm just gonna put this to one side for a moment, and we're gonna take a look at the steel books. Now, when I first opened this a minute ago, I was a bit worried. I was like, where's the other two steel books? They're below it. But let, let's take a look at this one here before I put them all together. So there it is. Hill Valley, the town hall, Marty and Doc. I remember seeing this film in the cinema in the 80s. I saw it about four times in the cinema. It was one of the first films that I went to multiple times. So here you've got the 4K Ultra and you've got the Blu-ray. And inside you've got an in initial beginning where you've got Marty McFly doing a DeLorean. You've got Little Einstein there. And then near the end of the film, you've got the clock tower where Doc, you've got Biff, and then you've got Marty and his mother <laughs> sounds a bit weird when you say that and then there you go so that's one of the steel books and wait because it gets better so let's slide this one out and then bang here we go so let me just pop this one open here there is the second steel book so back to the future two that's your side that's your back the hoverboard and these are all a matte finish, but the detail on them is really, really nice. So again, you've got your 4K Ultra and you've got your Blu-ray. And then again, seen from the film on the inside there. So Biff in his gambling. So again, there you go. Let's just turn it over, flip it like that. And then there's the inside of it. Okay, let's put that one there just for a minute. And then last but by no means least, Back to the Future 3, let's move that one away. Let's just pop this one down here. And this is Back to the Future 3, set in the wild, wild west. <laughs> Clint Eastwood, he calls himself in this one, that was funny. Open it up and then you get a bonus disc in here as well as the 4K and the Blu-ray. seen from the film with Marty and Doc in front of the clock tower when it's been built. So again, on the inside here, the detail is really nice, which steals from the film. And then there's the back. Put them together, and there you go. Absolutely peachy. Really impressed with that. All lines up, all in a matte finish, but the detail in the matte finish is really, really good as well. I'll just flip them around for you so you can see the other three on the back. So yeah, really nice. Say the matte finish, normally they do glossy finishes on these ones, but they've done matte this time around, and I'm so glad they did because the matte looks really, really good on it. So let's take a look at what you get inside the VHS cover. So it's got it all there, really it's authentic, worn look on the back. There you go. And then let's take a look at what you get inside here. So there is a fair bit inside here as well. So bear with me because I want to drop things and mess about that up there so let's start with this little fella first of all which is the gibson guitar pick that you get with it there you go so that's quite a nice little thing little extra that they give you and then here we have the blueprint of the delorean now this is the first time of me opening some of this so do bear with me if it comes out upside down or if i don't know what it is it's quite long and then there you go so that's the detail, the timeline. There you go. Taking you all the way through. And then on the back, 
This is just plain. Oh, as I said, there's a hell of a lot to this actually. And here's the DeLorean blueprint. Bang, and the flux capacitor in the center. So the detail on this is really nice. We thought a little writing about the different parts of the car and everything. Again, it's just single sided there. And here we have the Spots Almanac that he tries to make a little money along the way before Biff gets hold of it and then turns everything upside down in the alternate Hill Valley. So they've done really nice on this. They've done some really nice presentations, all the statistics, the scores. They've kept this very, very true to the film. Then we have a little fridge magnet, which is a nice little touch because I do have some fridge magnets actually. And here we have Marty and the Doc a photograph in front of the clock tower. And on the back is a postcard, if you ever wanted to post it. Don't think anyone would, though. And this is really, really nice. So here we have um, a hologram or lenticular cards. I can't pronounce that word at all. So let's just see if I can get it to change. There we go. Oh, Clint Eastwood and then Emmett Brown. There you go. Clint Eastwood, Emmett Brown. I'm really impressed with these. There you go. And then this is my favorite thing inside this set. It's the whole family where in part one, you can see he starts to disappear as he's playing Johnny Be Good until his parents kiss. So really, really nice effect on that one. This is the best thing inside this, in my opinion. Put that one there. And then we've got um, a continuity script excerpt. So this is just tells you about how they um, kept the continuity going between the films so I haven't had a really good look at this yet and then we have some paper cuttings here we go so USA Today gang gel that's when they start to change part two so again nice little feel to it actually how they've done that That's where Marty McFly takes the uh, wrap in the beginning, so to speak. So again, nice detail on that. And it is, a, it is a, actually like a proper paper feel to it as well, which is really weird. And this is Emmett Brown, crackpot inventor declared legally insane. Oh, tricky dicky there, look. There you go. So again, these are all single-sided, but they've really given it a really nice authentic feel to it. And then this is the last one. There we go, a local inventor receives civic award. And I'll run a Reagan there. So they've done really nice extras on this. Um, I must say, I'm very, very happy with this. Uh, I didn't go for the Zabby version. I went for the uh, one that I got from Amazon. But listen, any questions, let me know. Um, and I'll gladly answer as many questions as I can on it. And then just before I go, where is it? Here we go. I really do like this. This is perfect. But listen, guys, just short and sweet. Uh, apologies if I've made any mistakes or if I've forgotten anything because I've just done this in one hit when I come home from work today. I just wanted to get it done and get it out. But listen, thanks for watching. Take care. If you need any other information, drop me a note. Take care. Thanks for watching.